Sean in Fort Myers Beach, Florida writes to me, I rebuilt my home and put in a 100 amp sub panel. Whoa, that's a lot of amps, man. And has dedicated 20 amp circuits for every single amp. Good work. The sound seems better. Does heavy gauge wiring and isolation really improve sound? Oh, absolutely. Oh, for sure. When we built Octave Studios, which originally was our listening rooms, every single outlet in here has 10 gauge wiring going back to a sub panel. And we call those home runs, okay? So a home run is wiring connecting up the AC to a common point. Now in our situation, we also have a power plant AC regenerator feeding all of that, but that's not for the faint of heart, though it's the right way to go. So if you can, that's a great way to go. But focusing on your question, each individual run doesn't have the problem of being contaminated by another piece of gear hooked up to that same AC wiring. So imagine you have a power amplifier and it's drawing current to the music, right? It's drawing how many amps. And as you're doing that, the impedance of the wire is causing fluctuations in the voltage that you are to the music. I mean, you can literally see it. You hook a scope up to the AC wire, you can see the music being played uh, on, on a power amp all day long. And so two of those on there, now your, your power supply is literally going up and down to the music, something you don't want. What you want is low impedance, steady state voltage, which is why we build the power plant AC regenerators, because they get rid of all that trouble and give you steady, low impedance. I mean, we're 100 several hundred orders, uh, uh, set, not magnitude, several hundred times lower impedance than even the thickest wires, but we do that with active regulation. So yeah, it all matters for sure. And good, good on you for having done that. All right. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Bye.